Hi everyone, this video is going to go over an outline for your final paper and just give an example of what the expectation is. So this example is an argument that abortion is not wrong. This is an example of a final paper outline. So the thesis just states the position. In this case, they're arguing for a position. The position is that abortion is not wrong. Now, this is just the bare bones here. So you're going to have an argument for, you're going to have the counter argument, your opponent's argument, and then you hopefully have a little rebuttal to that argument. So let's just look at this first part right now. The argument for, you have to argue each of these premises in your paper. So if your argument is a fetus does not have personhood and it's not wrong to kill something that doesn't have personhood, therefore abortion is wrong, right? This argument in general you have to argue each of these points. You have to argue why you believe that a fetus does not have personhood and why you believe that it's wrong, or rather it's not wrong, to kill something that does not have personhood. So that's the argument for, right? It's something that you'd have to construct and you'd have to argue each premise. Okay, the counter argument. So you make sure that you give your opponent a strong argument because the whole point is to prove your point which means that you have to have a strong argument for your opponent so you can then dismantle it and prove that you're correct. So let's say the counter argument is it's wrong to kill an innocent human being. A fetus is an innocent human being. Therefore, it's wrong to kill a fetus and abortion is wrong. So that's, that's the counter argument. And maybe you can, if you would like, explain the rationale behind the opponent. Maybe the opponent thinks this because their beliefs or they have scientific research, they, you know, the heartbeat starts at a certain week. They can use evidence and they can use reason to get these conclusions and to get these points rather. So what you have to do is you have to overcome their counter argument by poking at one of these premises. So I just picked the most common and I said that premise two, the whole uh, premise here being a fetus is an innocent human being, that can be argued. I think a lot of people would argue that it's not the case, that a fetus is an innocent human being. Some people define life as the heartbeat. Some people define it as brain activity. That's part of the argument. You have to draw the line in the sand and then explain why you drew it there instead of somewhere else. That's kind of, that's kind of your job in writing the paper. So your, your outline should look something like this. There should be a section four. There should be a section that your opponent would say, the counter argument section. And there should be some sort of rebuttal and it shouldn't be just a tiny paragraph. It should be, it should be thoughtful about what you think the opponent is saying and how your position overcomes your opponent's position. And then finally, you want to conclude it, put your references. The more references you have, scholarly references that give evidence and reasons, those are good. Just, this is the outline. So this is just an expectation. I just made this up now, so it's based off past papers that I've seen. Uh, just try to follow it. If you have any questions, just reach out to me, and I'll try to answer you as quickly as I can. Um, if you think your paper doesn't fit well into this kind of outline, I would suggest trying to tweak a little bit to make sure you can try to fit it in this way. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much.